You know, one of the biggest things that separates you from catching a limit is honestly just being lazy. Point blank simple. There are hundreds of thousands of crappie out there to be called. They free ranging out there. And you at Walmart buying tilapia. Tilapia. How do you even tilapia? Anyway, you at the store buying some cod, some tilapia. When you could be out there getting your daggone limit every day of the year, 365 days of the year. Now, don't quote me on that. There are days that they just don't bite. I mean, that's fishing, not catching. But we want to catch more, so that's why you subscribed down below to Turner Fishing. Anyway, guys, stop being so daggone lazy out there. And what do I mean by that? I see time and time again, people will pull up to the bridge. You know, I fish probably 12 bridges. I see it all the time. They pull up to the bridge. They don't watch those Steven Turner on YouTube catching them on the bridge. And they get up there and they tie it up. They get up on the tied up. They put out like 16 daggone minnows. They crack them a cold beer. And then I go, I ask them about three hours later, you know, how many you got? Oh, I got me about two of them, you know. And I'm like, well, what are you doing here? If you got two fish in your boat and you've been fishing for two hours, that's one fish an hour, it's going to take you 20 hours to get a limit. You got to move around. It is summertime here now. It is in the 90s every day. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about to get up to the hundreds. The biggest misconception with crappy fishing is that it stops in the spawn. You know, you fish down the bank, you catch your little male fish, whatever, and when it gets 100 degrees, they don't bite. Biggest misconception. The thing is, only certain ones in the brush bite at certain times. Every fish has a different personality, whether you want to th believe it. Even with that little bitty ass brain they got, they've got their own personality, and you've got to trick that personality at that given time. It's not just a set in stone, I'm gonna throw this little jig right here over the brush pile and every fish in that brush pile is like, oh my God, eat it. No, it, it's that's the biggest misconception. You will see in the, in the videos that's coming up in the next couple of weeks because I love fishing in the heat. I don't know why the fish, the quality's there. The pressure's not on the brush piles. It's more of crazy people around me that, you know, you know, daggone wake boats. Like, I don't even care about jet skis, man. Let's talk about them wake boats. Come on, now, I got a 14-foot boat. Anyway, the biggest misconception is they don't bite. No. Point blank period, what I was about to say is you've got to move. Stop being lazy. That is the idea of this video is to stop being lazy lazy if you pull up to a spot and you catch one or two and and fifth i don't know 15 minutes go by and you don't get a bite and you know those fish are there you're watching them on forward facing sonar and they're chasing your your bait and they're not eating it dude there's probably like four thousand of them about a hundred dollars that way go go over there and try them and then if they don't bite good you go try the other six thousand over here you go try the eight thousand over there and then you come back to the ones that you were and you go catch them. But you probably already got your limit trying all the other stuff. You, you pull one or two off a brush pile, you need to go. You pull three or four, they stop biting. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh man. But the whole point of this video is I just want to give you guys confidence that you're not doing something wrong. You just, you just gotta go. You pull up to a dock, you catch three or four, they they don't bite in 20 minutes. There's other docks to go fish. Go fish them. Come back later, and they may be biting. They may not. You might have caught the only four fish on that brush pile for that entire day that is willing to bite. And th that's the God's honest truth. Time and time again, I find myself seeing a, a two-pound class fish and chasing that fish for 30 minutes for him to end up not even biting. You waste a lot of time out there on docks, on bridges, on brush piles that are just not producing. And yeah, you could be like, well, 
Maybe he'll bite in a little bit. Maybe he will. But if you watch Turner Fishing on YouTube, you know better to be there when he does because his Aunt Jill over there on brush pile number four, <laughs> she ready to chomp. But you over there playing with old nephew Bill over there, little eight incher, when that 14, 15 incher over there is ready to bite. Anyway, guys, a little comedic to it. I'm trying to hype you guys up because y'all need to keep moving. It feels good in the heat. Just get out there, catch a couple. If they don't bite, just just move. Find some more. If you only got one hole, then that gives you plenty of time to go find some more. There, there ain't no excuses for you not to be out there getting enough to eat. None. Anyway, guys, <coughs> plenty of other videos on the channel. Learn how to crappy fish. Subscribe down below. Hey, it is what it is.